Welcome back everybody to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can convert matplotlib plots into leaflet web maps using MPL leaflet. For more information and install instructions on MPL leaflet, you can go to python.org, then go to the Python package index and type in MPL leaflet. Let's go ahead and jump right in and go over a few of the cool things that you can do with MPL leaflet. For our imports, we have included matplotlib.pyplot as plt, pandas as pd, mpl leaflet, and geopandas. Okay, for our first example, we want to go ahead and plan and plot a route, first using a matplotlib plot, and then we want to take that matplotlib plot and place it onto a leaflet map. Our route is going to go from Los Angeles to Las Vegas to Denver, to Chicago, to Manhattan. The matplotlib plot looks like this. To create that plot, the first thing we've done is we've gone ahead and created a data frame. The data frame looks like this. It includes locations and their corresponding latitude and longitude. To create the plot, we've gone ahead and created a figure and a plot using plt.subplots with a figure size of 12 by 9. To create the line part of the plot, we use this code here. Now notice here, we've gone ahead and passed in the data frame longitude, and here we've gone ahead and passed in the data frame latitude. Now, to mark each specific location, we have a black square. You can see those here. To create those black squares, we've used this code here. Once again, passing in the data frame longitude and latitude. Now for the marker, we use K for black and S for square. Okay, so we have our matplotlib plot. Now we want to go ahead and overlay that onto the leaflet map. To do that, we have used mplleaflet.display. Then inside the display round brackets, all you have to do is pass in your figure. Let's run it, and you can see we have our leaflet map with an overlay of our matplotlib plot and our route, which goes from Los Angeles to Las Vegas to Denver to Chicago to Manhattan. Now, another thing you can do if you want to show and save this as an HTML file is to use mplleaflet.show. Then go ahead and pass in your figure and the path of where you would like it to save. Next up, let's go over an example of how you can plot locations. We're going to go ahead and use the same latitude and longitude coordinates from before, and then we'll use those to create our matplotlib plot. Once again, we've gone ahead and created our figure and our plot using plt.subplots with a fig size of 12 by 9. Now in this case, we wanted to go ahead and use a different marker for each location. So we use our plot locs ax.plot. Here we've gone ahead and passed in the first index of our longitudes and our latitudes. You'll notice that the first marker is a red O. To get the red O, we use RO. We've made all of our markers a little bit bigger with a marker size of 18. So for each marker, we're using the latitudes and longitudes from these lists here. We're just using a different index. So here we're using index 0, here we're using index 1, all the way down to index 4. And that will go ahead and create our matplotlib plot. So once again, we want to go ahead and take this plot and overlay it onto our leaflet map. To do that, we use mplleaflet.display and pass in our figure. Let's run it. And you can see we get the different markers for our leaflet map. This would be Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Denver, Chicago, Manhattan. Now one of the cool things about using the leaflet map is that you can drag this and move it. You can scroll in and you can scroll out. Okay, moving on. For our next example, we're going to create a matplotlib scatterplot 
and then combine that with our leaflet map. Once again, we're going to go ahead and use a data frame. And then we're going to use that data frame to help us create our scatter plot. Here we've gone ahead and created our figure and our plot using plt.subplots figure size 12 by 9. To create our scatter plot, we use our plot airports ax.scatter. We go ahead and pass in the data frame longitude and the data frame latitude. Now, for the size of the scatter plot bubbles or circles, we're going to use the data frame annual boardings. We've gone ahead and divided that by 10,000 to make the circles a little bit smaller. When we run it, we get our scatter plot. Now let's overlay this onto the leaflet map. So, we use mplleaflet.display and pass in our figure. Let's run it. And then, let's compare this to our data frame. So we can see that the most boardings happens at the Atlanta airport. And you can see that's the largest circle. Next is LA. That's the next largest circle. Then we have Chicago, the next largest circle. And then the next two are about even. Dallas, Fort Worth, and Denver. And you'll notice that those two circles are about the same size. For our last example, we're going to go over how you can use a geo data frame, create a plot, and then overlay that plot onto the leaflet map. So, to create our geo data frame, we use geopandas.read file, geopandas.datasets, get path. And this is going to pull in the New York boroughs boundaries. The next thing we're going to do is to generate a plot of the geo data frame with matplotlib. So to do that, we go ahead and use our New York data frame dot plot. For the column, we're going to use borough name. Let's take a quick look at the data frame. So here is our data frame, and we're going to use this column here. And that will help give us different colors for each borough. Then for the plot figure size, we're going to put in 10 by 10. For the alpha or opaqueness, we'll just do one with an edge color of black. We go ahead and assign all that to the New York AX. And when we run it, you can see we get our plot. Now let's go ahead and try to combine this with the leaflet map. Real quick, before we move on, if you'd like more information on the GeoData frame plot, here's a quick glance at the help screen. And you can pull that up using the data frame dot plot question mark. Okay, so to overlay those New York boroughs onto the leaflet map, we use MPL leaflet dot display. Then for the figure, we're going to use the New York AX that we created right here. And notice we use that dot figure. Then for the CRS argument, which is the coordinate reference system, we're going to use the data frame dot CRS. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our New York boroughs overlay onto our leaflet map. You can zoom in and zoom out and move the map as needed. Okay, that's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.